is masked by paramagnetism, uh, the, the one that is coming from spin. So you may have to have paired electrons in the outer shell to quench the spin to get to see diamagnetism. So diamagnetism is not normally observable. Bismuth is one good example where it is observable. And it shows diamagnetism. So diamagnetism is intrinsically a quantum mechanical phenomenon. You can't have any explanation of that in classical statistical mechanics. Okay? And this is called Landau diamagnetism. And everything that follows about oscillations of, I mean, we'll discuss that in tomorrow's lecture, uh, oscillation, oscillatory susceptibility and Hall effect. In the Hall effect, you have the combination of electric and magnetic fields. And it is a consequence of this quantization of the Landau levels. Okay? So this is a very, again, important uh, point, especially in today's uh, world of nanophysics, uh, the issue of Landau diamagnetism, oscillations of susceptibility and things like that. So, uh, so please, I mean, you know, these are very, very simple exercises. And you, uh, you please work them out. Uh, as Parthu and I were discussing, that even the graphite issue that we talked about in the morning, uh, where graphene problem, where to show that they behave, the graphene uh, sigma band electrons behave like, uh, the electrons behave like massless Dirac equation, to show that you have to really work out the lattice structures. Right? So all these things you have, to, you have to really work out yourself to satisfy that uh, you understand what is going on with, through this very simple uh, mathematics. Okay? So I'll stop here and then take off from this place tomorrow.